My name is Koyuki Fujikawa. I'm a full-time employee that works at a pretty good company. Recently, I don't know if getting married had become a trend in the office, but a lot of my senior colleagues and bosses were getting married one after another. I wanted to get on that wave and was feeling motivated when my colleague beat me to it and announced that she was getting married. That's amazing that you're getting married to Mr. Takizawa. I guess so. This person was my colleague, Miss Monica Kaido. A few days ago, she got engaged to her boss, Mr. Daiki Takizawa, and she looked so happy I was jealous. But also, just because she's gonna get married to Mr. Takizawa, she was way up on her high horse. But you can really cut it out with that bragging face. Monica, Mr. Takizawa, congratulations on your engagement. Thank you, it's a little bit embarrassing now that we're being congratulated by everyone. Please invite me to the wedding. Of course we will. We would be grateful if everybody could come. I'm really looking forward to your wedding. The moment I said that, Monica clearly had a displeased look on her face. Does she not want me to be there? Did I ever do something to her? We're inviting everybody. Why not? Wouldn't you be happier if we do that anyway, Monica? You don't want that? That's not what I'm saying, but if I say no, it makes me look like I'm the bad guy. Oh, I know. I have a good idea. <laughs> You're right. It'll be more fun if we invite everybody. I'm really looking forward to it. As she said that, Monica was looking at me and grinning. She looked so unhappy just a moment ago. What's with her? I'm truly so happy right now because I get to marry Daiki. It almost feels like a dream that I get to be with somebody that wonderful. Is that so? Well, good for you. And he said that we can have a fancy venue and that I can choose whatever dress that I want. He said I can do everything however I want. He's so nice, isn't he? I get that you're happy. Now get back to work or we'll never get through it. Hey, are you even listening? Yes, I'm listening, but how long do I have to listen for? You have to come no matter what, okay, Koyuki? Yes, of course I'll be going. Ever since then, Manaka was always bragging to me, and she kept insisting that I have to come to the wedding no matter what. To be honest, I didn't really like Manaka very much. She was pretty selfish, and she would dump a lot of her work onto me. It was very annoying. In the past, she also made fun of the scar on my face, too. Well, that was when we first entered the company, so I'm sure she already forgot about it. And it doesn't bother me anymore, so it's fine. I genuinely wanted to be happy for them because it was Mr. Takizawa's wedding. But to be honest, I didn't really want to go. As I was having these thoughts, before I knew it, it was the day of the wedding. I was ready to celebrate them as best as I could. But right before the ceremony started, the incident occurred. What? What do you mean? I don't know what to say. That's exactly what it means. There isn't a seat for you. Please leave now. There's no way that should be the case. Please double check again. You can say what you'd like, but what doesn't exist doesn't exist. Now please hurry up and leave. It's gonna cause trouble for the other guests. Look, even the people behind you are concerned. But I have the wedding invitation right here. Please confirm that my name is there. No matter how many times I look at the list, it's the same. <laughs> it's not there. There's no seat for a disgusting person like you. <laughs> the invitation was fake. <laughs> Excuse me, what do you mean by disgusting? Your face, it's super disgusting, you know. I've never seen such a terrible scar. <laughs> it's amazing that you can show your face in front of people. <laughs> if it were me, I could never. <laughs> I just have this because of an accident in the past. The wound is already healed, so there's nothing disgusting about it. That's because you look at it every day, isn't it? For someone like me that's seeing it for the first time, it's disgusting. Are you unable to put yourself in other people's shoes? It's going to bother the other guests as well, so we really want you to leave as soon as possible. <laughs> the wedding ceremony is about to start, isn't it? And to have even one ugly person like you in such a place of celebration, it's really going to ruin the atmosphere, so please hurry up and leave. It doesn't make any sense. At that moment, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Manaka snickering nearby. I instantly understood the situation. This woman at the reception was Manaka's friend, and she put her in the reception in order to make me feel bad. Listen, how many times are you going to make me say it? Hurry up and get out. You're an annoying person. I see. That's fine. I'll be leaving now. You should have just done that from the beginning. <laughs> Nobody invited someone with a scar like that. <laughs> Is that so? Well, then I will be leaving as well. What? That's fine, isn't it? What? Uh, well, yeah, sure. Mr. Masato, you're really going to leave? Yeah, I've had enough. I don't want to attend anymore. If they're going to talk about a scar on the face, I have one too, even if it's small. If someone with a scar is disgusting, then I'm going to go home. And all of you here right now, if you are watching what just happened, I think you should rethink your participation as well. Those who want to celebrate should stay, but I think we should only reward a bride and groom that you genuinely believe are spectacular. Mr. Masato said that as he grabbed me by the hand and walked out of the venue. But then, suddenly, Mr. Takizawa came running after us. Wait a minute, please. Why are you leaving? What do you mean, why? 
The reception his attitude was terrible. She was making fun of Miss Koyuki. Of course I'm going to be angry about that. What did you say? Fujikawa, is that true? Yes, apparently a disgusting person with a scar in their face isn't allowed in. How dare they? I'm going to make them apologize right now, so please wait. Hey you, why did you say something like that? Apologize now. What? But that's what Monaka told me to do. Why would you say that? I told you to keep it a secret. Monica did? Monica told you to do this? Monica, what on earth is going on here? What reason did you have to make her do that? I don't know what you're talking about. She just did that on her own, see? I don't know this receptionist person at all. You're awful. You're the one that told me to do this. You knew I was struggling for money, and you said in exchange for lending me some to do the reception at your wedding. What did you say? Why would you say that? I made you promise not to tell anyone about it. Is this true? What did Monica say to you? Monaka said that if a woman with a scar on her face shows up to kick her out immediately, she said that it was a troublesome person that wasn't even invited was going to show up on their own, so I could say whatever I wanted to and it wouldn't be a problem. And she said if I made fun of her face, then she would probably run away and leave. I told you not to say anything! Why are you breaking your promise? You better give me back that money! Even if you say that, if I didn't say anything in this situation, it would look like I'm the only bad guy here. I was just told to kick out the person who came uninvited, and that the woman with the scar on her face would destroy the wedding. Monica, what is this about? What the hell are you thinking? There's no way that Fujikawa would ever do such a thing. But because I don't like Koyuki. Huh? I knew that, but are you telling me that you did something this petty just because of that? That's right. Just because you're better at your job than me, everyone likes you, and you're getting carried away. That's true that I could finish more work than you, but I wasn't getting carried away for about anything. That's all you did this for? What do you mean that's all? That attitude is so irritating. I am so much cuter than you. And yet you get more attention. That's not right. Even though I should be the one that people pay more attention to. Any everybody trusts you with everything. I don't get it. Isn't that because you're not very good at your job? There's nothing we can do about that. It's only when kids are little that they say they're cute when they're stupid. And you acting so arrogant, like that is so irritating. Plus, I saw the way you look at Daiki with those eyes. I have never done such a thing. Don't lie to me, I know already that you like Daiki. And Daiki is nice, so he's being nice to you, but he's gonna be my husband, so don't look at him like that. I really have no idea what you're talking about. Me neither. What are you saying, Monica? Fujikawa hasn't done anything like that. I have no memory of her looking at me in any way. Why are you defending Koyuki right now? I know that you used to like her, Daiki, and I know that you two were flirting in the office. You two were doing that at work? No, we haven't. It's a misunderstanding. I have never once been left alone with Mr. Takizawa anyway. What are you talking about? Because one year ago, I saw you two alone in town together. Has that happened? Maybe that was when we all got together as a club? I don't have any memory of being in another town with you. Club? The reason why we look like we get along so well, it's because we went to the same university. Maybe I've known him for longer than you, and that's why you misunderstood all of this? The reason why I treat Fujikawa the way that I do is because she was my junior in college. And plus, if I were to ever lay hands on Fujikawa, I don't want to know what would happen to me, so there is nothing ridiculous like that between us. N no way! There's no way that it was all my misunderstanding! That's right. You made it all up in your head. But that it doesn't make sense why I went through all this to do that! And I got all this way to get you to marry me, Daiki, just to make Koyuki accept! What? That's the reason why you were dating me? For that? That's right! I thought that Koyuki liked you, so I thought she would be jealous! And that's why I also invited her to the wedding, because I always wanted to take her down. I never could have thought that's what you were thinking. In that case, we're going to cancel the wedding right now. We're not getting married. I'm breaking up with you. What? But why? Because I now know that you didn't like me at all. There's no way that I could be with somebody like that. We're getting a divorce straight away, and I'm going to tell our parents about this right now. What? No, wait, that's not it! At first, that's why I dated you, but now it's different! I actually fell in love with you, Daiki, and that's why I decided to marry you. In the beginning, I approached you because I wanted to upset Koyuki, but now it's different! As if I could believe that. Monica tried to apologize and beg to Mr. Takizawa many times, but it seemed like it would take quite some time for him to even listen to her. Mr. Takizawa is really stubborn after all. Please believe me, this is the truth! Please don't say we're gonna get a divorce! Looks like trouble's in paradise. <laughs> First of all, this is all your fault for making me confused. You need to do something about this! You're the one that made up your own misunderstanding. First of all, Fujikawa has a boyfriend to begin with. What? Koyuki has a boyfriend? That's unexpected! What do you mean unexpected? That's awful! Because every time you're talking to any male employees, it's always about work. And whenever you finish work, you don't go anywhere and you go straight home. Well, that's a given. If I have a boyfriend, there's no way I would flirt with other people. And all I do is work, so I'm tired, and I have no desire to stop anywhere before going home. 
but you never once spoken about a boyfriend. Well, I didn't think it was necessary to talk about in the office. And plus, I kept it a secret from most people anyway. But now that we're here, allow me to introduce you. This person's my boyfriend. Hello. I was wondering why you was standing there this whole time, but that's your boyfriend. So when this plane is your boyfriend, seriously? <laughs> you have bad taste. <laughs> and plus, he has a scar in his face too. You guys are a perfect match for each other. <laughs> I can't believe there are two ugly people at my wedding. That's seriously the worst of all. <laughs> But also, I can't believe you brought your boyfriend to the wedding! What were you thinking? <laughs> Did you think there was a seat for you and your boyfriend here? Are you stupid? <laughs> what are you saying? You're the one that's stupid. Apologize right now. Huh? What are you saying? I was just complaining to these people with no manners. You're the one with no manners. There's no way that somebody would bring their boyfriend to a wedding uninvited. And first of all, I was the one that invited this person. And when I told you that they were coming, you were so happy about it. Huh? What are you talking about? Did I see anything like that? This person is our CEO. This is Mr. Masato Saiki. CEO. What? You're joking, right? That's right. Mr. Masato here looks very young on the outside, but he's a 35-year-old CEO. Well, of course she didn't know that. The day of Mr. Masato's induction ceremony, Monica said she had a fever and took the day off. But I don't think that she hadn't even checked for a photograph to know her own CEO's face. I am so terribly sorry. Monica has only been out of line this whole time. You haven't done anything wrong, Takizawa, isn't that right? No, I was the one that took the liberty of inviting you to the wedding. Please, allow me to make up for the uncomfortable experience you had. H hey, you need to apologize too. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realize that you're a CEO, Mr. Seiki. And I can't believe it was so awful to the CEO's girlfriend, Koyuki. But I'm not angry just because she's my girlfriend. I don't like the fact that you were trying to belittle others or to make fun of them in itself. I didn't think there were working adults that would do such childish things at this age. If you're so bothered by the scars on our faces, then what about you? Even if your face is more beautiful than ours, it seems like your heart is very dirty. And I think that those with a beautiful heart are far more attractive than anyone with just a beautiful face. You're exactly right. I'm truly so very sorry. But you see, there's no point in apologizing to me because I'm not the one that you hurt anyway. Do you think that you can get away with this by apologizing to me? It only seems like you're apologizing because I'm the CEO. That's not true at all, Koyuki. I'm very sorry. Well, if you really are sorry... Fujikawa, you don't need to forgive her. I think what she did was truly evil. And if I were to guess, hasn't she done other things to you in the past? If she has, then tell us. No, of course I would never! When I glanced over at Monica, her face was completely pale. And with her eyes, she was begging me, tell them I've done nothing. I'm sure saying nothing would be what kindness is, but... Now that you mention it, when I first entered the company, I remember her making fun of my scar. What? And also, she would always dump her work onto me. There was a time that you placed a mountain of work on my desk because you didn't want to work any overtime, wasn't there? And then in front of the male employees, you would purposely say that I was bullying you and you embarrassed me in front of them too. You were doing all of that too? No, I never once did anything like that. I just had her help me with a little bit of work before, that's all. And I just talked about Koyuki a little bit in front of the other employees, that's it. We'll know whether you're telling the truth or not, if we confirm it later. I'll be asking the other employees a few questions. You're joking, right? If you do that, then... Oh? But didn't you just say that Koyuki was wrong? Uh... Well, first of all, to belittle one woman for such a pathetic reason is beyond idiotic. If you're that bored that you have time for this, I wish that you would work on your own skills and make yourself useful at work. If you're not good at your job, then you should just work harder to get better. That's all. Please make better use of your time. Yes, I'm very sorry. I will do that from now on. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm looking forward to the next company restructure. I was thinking about transferring a few people over to the subsidiary company anyway. What? I hope you're looking forward to it. No, I don't want to be transferred. I'm terribly sorry for what I did. I'm really so sorry. Forgive me. Manaka was sobbing as she crumbled to the floor and apologized over and over again on her knees. When Mr. Masato saw that, he let out a heavy sigh and then he grabbed me by the hand and we walked out the door. I exposed what was done to me, so I don't think I have any right to say this, but don't you feel a little bit bad for her? I don't think so at all. This is more than enough for somebody like her. And first of all, having somebody like that in our company doesn't create a good atmosphere. And also, I call it a transfer, but it's more like a training. If I can see that she gains some skills and changes over there, then I'm planning on bringing her back into the headquarters. And if she doesn't improve, then she's better off staying over there. If you said that earlier then, maybe she wouldn't have cried so hard back there, don't you think? That's because she bullied you, Koyuki. I think that was appropriate of her. After that, the wedding really was canceled on the spot. Apparently, the only ones that remained were her family. Being able to live in peace without any trouble is really the best. 
What a lesson that if you turn your jealousy for somebody else into an action, it's only going to result in pain. I'm very sorry about the other day. I gave her a harsh piece of my mind after that. Don't worry about it. I also had a lot bottled up inside me, and I said things that I didn't need to say. So I think it goes both ways. So what are you going to do about Manaka? Are you going to get a divorce? We're not getting a divorce yet, because she keeps crying and begging and latching on to me. Her misunderstandings and assumptions are intense, but if it weren't for that, normally, she's actually wonderful. And plus, if we got a divorce, that means I'm letting her out into the world, right? If I do that, she'll probably cause problems for somebody else. So I decided to look after her. Until she can be reborn into a better person, I'm going to do my best to guide her. That's very kind of you. If it were me, I would get an immediate divorce. I don't think this is kindness. I'm worried. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And I've already threatened her that if she were to ever do the same thing again, we'll get a divorce straight away. But even though you said you're going to guide her, she's working in a different office now. That's true, but it was the CEO's orders and I want her to work hard over there. Just in case, I've asked her boss over there to update me every now and then. Well, that's a relief. After the next few years, I look forward to seeing her come back as somebody who's really good at her job. That being said, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm worried that somebody might become a victim to her like I was. That's what I was thinking when one day I got a message from Manaka. I'm really sorry for everything I did to you. I was really so awful. About what happened at the wedding, I really do regret it. I'm glad to hear you feel that way. I'm sure the work over there may be difficult, but I wish you the best of luck. Yes, Mr. Psyche kindly said that when they decide that I can be of use at the headquarters, that they would call me back. I'm going to do my best so that I can come back to the headquarters soon. And when the time comes, I look forward to working with you. It seems like she really does regret it. I'm glad. I'm rooting for you so that you can come back soon. After that, Mr. Masato proposed to me, and we're going to get married. Actually, after that day at the wedding, I became famous as the CEO's girlfriend, and there were quite a few people who would come to flatter and suck up to me. Perhaps I saw to realize that I was frustrated by everybody's reactions, and he said that I should just quit my job and we should get married. I'm very happy about your suggestion, but I actually like my job and would like to continue it. Are you sure? You wouldn't prefer to be a full-time housewife? No, I don't, because I like my job, and that's why I'm working. And if I quit now, it'd be bad timing. I want to continue working until we have kids, and when that time comes, I can think about what I want to do next. That's what you say. Then you should do as you want with Koyuki. And for you, and also for the other women in the company, I think we should relook at our maternity leave policies. You're a great CEO. It is part of the CEO's job to make sure that the work environment is comfortable for all employees. Our wedding's still far into the future, but I'm sure it'll be one that's full of happiness.